Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today, I'm gonna bring you guys along on my day. I have a lot planned. I kind of probably gonna film this over a couple days, honestly, because I have so much to do. Um, and not a whole lot of time left in today, or today, y'all you know don't say, the time is flying. It's already almost one o'clock. I think it's actually past one. And I just got my grocery order in. I'm gonna share with you a quick grocery haul. I'm gonna do this the same way I filmed my last grocery haul where I just kind of film like an overview of everything and then I'll do a voiceover telling you the meals that I'm cooking. This week's grocery um, order was $200 exactly, which is crazy, it was $199 and some change. And I got quite a bit of food. However, there were some things that they didn't have that they were out of, so I'm gonna have to get creative. I do have some meats in my freezer, thank goodness, so I can you know make it work. So I don't have to go to the store right this second. But I wanted to share with you more of like a healthier grocery haul, I guess. And I got online last night and I looked up some really good recipes. I just went on YouTube and I typed in easy family recipes. I found shrimp, chicken, pasta, all kinds of stuff, like I said. So I'm gonna share with you what I got. Um, and then I also am gonna be building a little desk for myself in my bedroom a little bit later. I found these like really inexpensive, um, like, what are they called? Uh, legs. <laughs> legs for this desk that I'm going to build. It's going to be a super easy DIY. So I'm going to share that in today's video, get my little desk area set up. And I'm really excited because I've never really had like a designated workspace. Well, I have one time and it didn't work out. <laughs> so we'll see. But it was a really cheap um, desk that I could build. So we're going to build it anyway. And yeah, let me go ahead and show you what I got for food. And then we'll move on with our day. All right, so starting with the things that are not food related, I had to get some laundry soap and the Arm & Hammer is my all time favorite. Um, I had to get Easy Off, Dawn, a new water filter, a spatula and straws. So nothing fancy there, just super basic, but a few things that I really needed to grab. Um, moving on for breakfast, we always keep it simple. We do eggs, toast, oatmeal, pancakes, you know, your typical breakfast foods. For lunches, we stick to sandwiches, easy, quick lunches that are still good. Um, so the kids like to have chicken tenders sometimes, a Lunchable. Um, I usually pre-make some tuna. By the way, in a previous video, y'all noticed that I had tuna in my fridge. I personally keep the tuna in the fridge just because I like it to be ice cold. I cannot eat warm tuna, no. <laughs> so that's why I keep it in the fridge. Um, and then we have a ton of vegetables I, I grab. So apples, I got squash and zucchini, bell peppers, onions. We're gonna be doing some sheet pan dinners this week and shish kebabs. So I'm trying to get a little bit healthier, but it does take time to, to transition over. So I'll be working on some healthier food options and I will have our meal plan listed below, but really quick, just a run through of some of the dinner ideas I have. We're going to be doing skirt steak and broccoli. So it's basically going to be like a beef and broccoli, ribs and vegetables, shrimp alfredo, spaghetti. We're going to do au jus sandwiches breakfast for dinner one night, and um, we're gonna do a chicken sheet pan dinner. I don't know if I said that already. I think I did, <laughs> but um, we also made pork chops that I had on hand. So you'll notice that there wasn't a whole lot of protein in this grocery haul, and that is because they told me they were sold out. So I had to just pull out of my freezer and use some stuff that I had. 
All right, so here I'm just preparing a meal for tonight's dinner. So I wanted to share a few video clips like this, um, including the grocery haul. So if you want to see more videos of us actually preparing the meal, let me know in the comments below or just give this video a thumbs up. So I am just dicing up some red potatoes here, a squash and zucchini and a bell pepper. And I'm just going to lay that out across this pan. And I'm going to bake that in the oven at 350 degrees until all the vegetables are cooked you know to what we like everybody's different so the time may vary but i we like ours done pretty well so i think ours were in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes but i usually just keep an eye on them when they're in the oven and you know just kind of pay attention to to the look that we like we like our vegetables done pretty well so you'll see later on in the end video clip that you know they're cooked and they're softened but um, we're also having ribs to go with this. So what I do with the ribs is I season them really well with barbecue sauce, onion powder, garlic. I wrap them up in aluminum foil and bake them at 350 degrees for a few hours. And then if we have time, we will throw them on the grill and kind of sear them on each side. So just make sure that you are cooking all of your meat all the way through. You want to make sure that you are not eating undercooked food. So always do your research on the you know food that you're cooking and all of that. So here I'm also just adding some olive oil and salt and pepper to the vegetables. And this was the finished product. The next meal we made this week was shrimp um, alfredo. I almost said shrimp. <laughs> we made shrimp. <laughs> we made shrimp alfredo. Well, my husband made it. Um, I just kind of help set the plates up. My husband loves to cook and he is amazing at it. So he makes some homemade alfredo. I would have filmed a little bit more of it, but I was mid working on another project and usually that's how it goes if he's cooking i'm working on something else so unfortunately i didn't film as much as i wanted to of it but he does like his own mixture he does butter flour um, garlic and he kind of like cooks that down and makes an alfredo with it we serve it with veggie noodles and like i said for this day we're having the shrimp with it it looks so good i love that shrimp so i'll put it on She said, I love that shrimp, so I'm probably going to want more. <laughs> I almost forgot to tell you guys, we also made some green beans. We just used the steam fresh ones today just to make it super quick. Uh, my husband added some butter, salt, and pepper, and this was the finished product. So next week or a few weeks whenever i get my next grocery haul up i hope to have more dinners shared in the video so like i said if you enjoyed this make sure you give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments below hey guys so it is a new day i um haven't filmed in quite some time honestly i just decided to take a few days off um, i did finish up my dining room but my house is a mess because my mom is actually going to be taking my hutch. The kids and I are gonna go to the park, let them have some fun. Um, we haven't been in quite some time, so we're gonna let them go, well, we as in me, um, <laughs> gonna take them so they can go have some fun for a little bit. And then when I get back, I'm hoping that my mom will come get the hutch, cause like right now it's, it's in my kitchen and it's just like so big and it's in the way, so I'm hoping that she'll get that. But I also need to build my desk later on this afternoon because i need a spot to put my computer i right now i've been working at the island and it's just probably not the best idea because i don't want my computer getting messed up we are actually about to load up this hutch and take it to my mom's house because i gave the hutch to my mom after i redid the dining room and all the stuff in it i have to take out and figure out what i want to keep what i don't want to keep so that's what i'm gonna do really quick and then we're gonna load it up take it to her house i'll share all that but um i'm gonna start by just taking out all the plates because all the plates are what i i actually need the plates because all of my other plates are broke mm -hmm. so i'm gonna move this thing uh, I don't want to do it
it's attached. But this is not like attached. So I thought maybe we could slide the whole thing that way and get a little closer before we try to carry it. It's been a long night. I have I got the main living space all cleaned up and it looks so good. It's nice and clean and oh, it feels nice because earlier today, waking up to that mess, not okay. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, this house is the worst it's ever been. But we got it done. Um, we have a ton to do tomorrow. I want to declutter the underneath the kitchen cabinet the work like where I keep all the cleaning supplies I want to do that I want to go through my clothes again we're gonna be doing a bedroom switch soon again we originally switched y'all have pro y'all probably already know this but um we switched our bedroom with our daughter and she has the master bedroom and the main reason for doing the switch was just to give us more space in our bedroom but at that time we needed more space because we had too much stuff so now I've been like decluttering and I feel comfortable putting our room back in there. We have one less dresser. We don't have as much stuff as we used to. So I think it'll function properly and be just fine. So we're gonna do that. Um, so I have a lot of work ahead of me to do. I need to fix um, her wall. I'll have to figure something out because she loves that wallpaper and I have plenty left because I ordered a lot. It was like really cheap, like three something a roll. So. I'm gonna do something fun in her room whenever we switch the rooms, but that'll be later. We're gonna try to work on that next weekend. Um, but in the meantime, I want the house to be like super clean and organized. That way when we do the switch, I can seal her grout because y'all may have y'all may know this, but we if you've been watching for a while, you probably remember I went through and I stained all the grout and sealed it. That way it wouldn't get as dirty because before there was like white grout and it was not sealed so anytime you spilled a drink it would just like penetrate that grout and it was disgusting i could not keep up with it so i bought this grout stain and sealer and i went through the entire house and sealed every room except for these two rooms back here it's a ton of work to do that it's worth it it looks so much prettier with the darker grout but that's a big project and in order to do it it's best if you have a clear empty room <clears throat> so um whenever we get all of our furniture out of there to switch it to her room we'll go ahead i'll seal all the grout stain it really quick and then we'll move her furniture back in there and um do the switcheroo so that'll be interesting when that time comes because i don't know how the room's gonna look but I'm, I'm sure it'll turn out okay and then um what else do i have going on i'm trying to think I need to build my desk. I still haven't built my desk, but I got everything ready to do it. So I can probably work on that first thing tomorrow and share that with you guys. It's like a quick, easy DIY. And those little um, legs to that table that I'm gonna build, which you'll see tomorrow, they're so, so easy. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and make it right now. So what I got were these two packs of these black metal legs, and then I also got this spruce pine edge glued panel, and that is going to be the top of my desk. So I'm gonna quickly um, put the legs on first, and then tomorrow I will be having my husband help me cut the edge that's gonna go around. I'll sand it down and stain it.
so it actually turned out really nice. Um, I still have to go around and put my thicker piece of board around the edge. That'll just give it like a thicker look and just it'll look a lot nicer like that and then stain it. I think it's gonna look so nice. I love it though. I mean, and it's pretty sturdy considering, I mean, the tall legs and like not a super heavy top. But so far, so good. I am about to go outside and start working on my desk. So my husband's actually gonna help me out with this one, um, just because the saw that I have right now is, it's messed up, it actually broke. I need to get a new like chop saw that does like angles and stuff. But they're expensive, so I'm trying to like save up for one and make sure that I do my research and get one that I actually like, that I feel like I can use easily by myself. Um, but in the meantime, he's gonna help me out with this saw. We're gonna cut some angles to cut this thin one by two board that's gonna go along the edge of the desk. That way it just gives like a thicker wood look, um, but it's a lot cheaper than buying like a butcher's block or anything like that. So that's what we're gonna work on right now. Um, and then I will be staining it, wood or wood filling it, staining it and all that. And then I'll have a nice little desk that was like super inexpensive to build. <laughs> so um, let's get outside and start cutting this wood. <laughs> I got my ball. I got my ball. I got my ball. She's so cute. Get her, honey. Go get her, honey. What was her measurement? 39? Yes, 39, and then you said 18. It's going to be too long. So. Let's get it down to the piece that we have The moment of truth. And that's what you mean? Yep. And I'm just going to round off the edges the same way that I did the um, island. Once it's all together. So he is just using small little nails in my nail gun to nail this up. Whenever this is all finished, I will take it outside, sand it down, and round off the edges just to make sure that it's not like super harsh on my arms or like I don't like any sharp corners in my house either. Just having kids and dogs, it's just super dangerous. So I always usually round off the edges, but. This project was right around $46 to build. That did not include the stain. I usually always have stain on hand, so luckily I didn't have to buy that. But stain is actually really inexpensive, and it goes a long way. So if you do have to purchase it, always keep in mind that you should be able to complete one or two projects with at least one small can of stain. But um, once this is all finished, like I said, we're going to go outside. I'm going to start sanding it down and getting it ready to stain it. I think it looks super nice. I love it. It's perfect. It's not too bulky either, because like with a bigger desk, it just take it looks like it takes up so much space with it being all open underneath. It's not so heavy. So I'm excited. I'm gonna sand it down and stain it. And it should be done. All right, so here I am just taking my sander and I'm gonna round off these edges and all the corners. Um, and then as soon as I'm done using the electric sander, I go in with a hand block sander um, because I didn't have any fine sandpaper for my sander. So I just went in with a block um, sander. How many times am I gonna say sander in one sentence? <laughs> But anyway, I'm gonna sand it down, get a nice smooth finish, so then I can go in with the stain. I'm using the color Special Walnut. But I just wanted to remind you guys that anytime you're using a stain color, always keep in mind that the different types of wood are going to stain differently. Since this is a very light pine, it's going to look different than if you used it on like a darker piece of wood. So always keep that in mind. All right, so to apply the stain, I am going to be using a foam brush today. I picked up some from Dollar Tree the last time I went just to try them out and see how the quality was. And although they're super cheap, they definitely are cheap <laughs> in the quality. They completely fell apart. I ended up going through two or three of them for this one project, and towards the end, you'll see it completely break in half. So just keep that in mind. The cheaper you go with products, the, pro the more you're probably gonna go through them, and in the long run, you may even spend more money than you would have if you just bought the little bit better quality one, and I've definitely learned that over time.
All right, so I just worked on a cleaning video that just went live and my desk has been out here drying. Oops, that's so loud, they're trying to sleep. But um, I stained the desk and it's like such light wood, but I actually like it. And I think I'm gonna leave it for now and not seal it um, until I decide if I wanna like darken it up or not. But it looks so, so good. Oh, I'm just so excited about it. Okay, so I really like the light color, but I did feel like it didn't really match with anything else in my house. So I went in with this Valspar Antiquing Glaze, and I'm going to buff this in to the wood grain, just so it kind of warms it up a little bit, and it actually just gave a beautiful, beautiful color. So very happy with it once I use that special wa walnut and that Antiquing Glaze, and I will link both of those colors and the products down below in the description box. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I do have lots of videos planned for the next couple weeks and next month, so stay tuned for those. Um, but yeah, thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video, bye.